Hillary Clinton had denounced the leak of Democratic National Committee emails in September during her election campaign. Since then, the scandal has only grown. Clinton had pointed the finger of blame at Russia. The fact that our intelligence professionals are now studying this and taking it seriously raises uh, some uh, grave questions about potential Russian interference uh, with our electoral process. One month before the election, the Obama administration had formally accused Russia of cyber attacks on the Democrats to influence the vote, it said. The hackers allegedly passed the data to WikiLeaks. Moscow has repeatedly denied any involvement in cyber attacks. On October 4th, WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange announced the upcoming publication of material relating to the U.S. election process. We have on schedule, uh, it, and it's a very hard schedule, uh, all the U.S. election-related documents to come out uh, before November 8th. I think that computers have complicated lives very greatly. President-elect Donald Trump has questioned U.S. intelligence agencies' allegations of so-called Russian hacking, even calling it a political witch hunt. We have the kind of security that you need. He tweeted a quote from a Fox News interview with Assange, during which he denied that Russia was the source of the leaked emails. Despite dismissals from the president-elect about the findings of a congressional hearing, he was told by intelligence officials that the alleged Russian cyber attacks pose a so-called major threat to the United States. Data concentrations increasingly have been... Russia has clearly assumed an even more aggressive cyber posture by increasing cyber espionage operations, leaking data stolen from these operations, and targeting critical infrastructure systems. President Obama last week ordered the expulsion of 35 Russian diplomats and imposed sanctions on two Russian intelligence agencies he said were involved in hacking U.S. political groups.